Hello YouTubers, today I'll be showing you how to magnetically control the position of any fluid you like over top of a water repelling surface. I'll be using iron powder mixed with my fluid to control its position, and never wet spray in order to create the water repelling surface. Alright, enjoy the video. I first applied three layers of the base coat. I made sure to rotate the petri dish that I was using for my carrier between each uh, layer of the coating. This is so that I also got a uniform coating on the sides of my petri dish. After 30 minutes, apply the top coat. Do the same thing you did with the base coat by applying three layers, rotating your petri dish or whatever substrate you're using between each layer to get a uniform coating along the sides. Once this is done, wait 30 minutes again for the substrate to dry. Next, mix iron powder with water. Use as little iron powder as you can, and the reason for this is that if you use too much, it will respond too strongly to your magnetic field and will actually tear out of your solution as you move your magnet. Alright, let's give her a test. So although I didn't show this, I also tried using some fabrics, and you can see the ferro fluid moves just fine. It looks really cool. You can also do some splitting operations as I'll show uh, here, which is really cool because often in digital microfluidics applications, you can't do splitting operations with only a single plate. Okay, let's try it on the petri dish. As you can see, it moves a lot better and it doesn't look as sluggish, which is, I think, really cool for uh, medical applications, not as cool for display effects. I also then tried it with electromagnet, as you can see here. And so since my electromagnet was pretty strong, I was also able to heavily dilute the ferrofluid so it's just um, pretty much all water, which is pretty cool because it becomes transparent. So it looks as if you are you can put, say, food coloring and have some really cool effects here. All right, thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this week's video. I'll likely be doing more videos using hydrophobic surfaces in the future because they look really cool. I love that you can have pretty much transparent fluid handling. Um, and I'll also be showing other ways of making these coatings um, using electrospray technologies in the future. Alright, see you next time!